Hey, hey, Crips here, and yet again, thanks for joining me. So you saw a little intro, and you're probably keen to find out how I did that. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that, and it'll probably take you about all up five minutes to do it. So let's get moving. It doesn't matter what software you're using. If you've got Boris Graffiti 6.1, it all works the same. So for me, I'm using Corel Video Studio Pro X6. I have the footage in my timeline, and I'm now going to drop or apply the filter. The green screen is irrelevant. It's just that that's... I just made a little footage using the green screen, but it's irrelevant. Let's go straight into the advanced mode. Okay, so here we are. First thing we need to do is delete the text track that is there. So highlight it, it's red. Press delete on your keyboard and it's gone. Next thing we want to do is we want to add, sorry, we want to add the extruded text. That's this one over here. Click it once and voila. So what we have now is we're going to create extruded text so let's go quips and then update unfortunately my window is very small it's gone update there you go i will leave always this in the default setting so if you are following me and if i have my own layout it could be confusing correct all right first thing we need to do is i want to change the extrusion on this it's probably pretty thick and to see that we're going to go into position tumble and just move it slightly so i can See how thick it is? It's just really thick. Also, here's a tip for you. Uh, if you're using the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and it's struggling, uh, like you move it, you're moving your mouse wheel and nothing's happening, turn off your OpenGL mode. That's it here. I'll show you what happens when I turn it on because my graphic card at the moment is only a one gig and it struggles. Watch the, uh, the zoom in feature here. I'm, right, you can see it zooming in but my actual composition is not zooming in and now it zooms in so it's taking about you know two three seconds delay and it could be very annoying so preview open gl and turn it off uh, but it is handy to have and i will show you later on why it is really handy to have but here we go that's not why we're here let's now let's change the extrusion so go back into your controls panel and look for the extrusion tab. There it is. And let's drop that down slightly. There you go. That looks good. And my bevel is a bit too much. So I'm going to drop that down. And I'm probably increase the smoothness so it looks all good. Let's go back to position and then reset it. In other words, if you've changed the position of where it is and you press the little R for reset, it puts you smack dab back in the middle of the screen. And that's pretty cool to know. Okay, let's uh, bring me into the picture. Here we go. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm going to point, and probably about there, I will need the text to be. So I'm going to make sure I am highlighted on the grips uh, track. And it's just a matter of clicking and dragging. See, it wouldn't let me do that. Grip, there we go. Computers can be finicky sometimes, can't they? Just like my wife. <gasps> Good thing she never watches my videos. All right, so now it's in place. So how did I get the S to swing? Well, very simple. Make sure you are highlighted on the grips text uh, track. Go into track, and you're going to convert this to a 3D container. So what it's done, it's given each letter its own track, as you can see here. So therefore, you can then do whatever you want to each letter. For example, let's look at the S because we're going to use the S. And I might change the materials, in other words, the way it looks. Right now, it looks kind of made out of, uh, what's hard to say, aluminium, silver, whatever. So I'm, I'm using a two faces. So let's go to two faces. And it's plastic. Well, there you go. It's on a plastic. And I might go to gold. See how it's just changed to gold? And, that's, and then you can obviously change the colors, the ambience. And these are all the controls that you can have fun with changing the way that looks anyway you can you yourself can have a play with that i'm only teaching you the basics okay so now that we have this we want it to start swinging so obviously i'm going to hit about here so i'm going to add a keyframe this one here is add a keyframe tip number two and i've told you this in my last tutorial turn this one off if it's red turn it off because it will annoy you all right let's go all the way back to the first keyframe because we need to set the interpolation with that so let's go back into position and make sure you highlight which is red 
and you're gonna hold it. Put a hold on this keyframe so nothing happens until you get to this keyframe. And then it's just a matter of tumbling it. So we probably want it to go forward so we go up. As you can see, as I do this, my S is swinging up. And then I'm gonna give the interpolation a swing. I'm gonna move my CTI, my current time indicator, along a little bit. And then I'm again going to add another keyframe and I'm gonna make it swing back. So again, we go into tumble. And then you can drag it down slightly to swing it the other way. And that's all there's to it. Now just keep moving the, the, uh, the CTI along your timeline. And here's a little trick for you. Right click, or left click, sorry. Highlight it, right click and copy keyframe. Move it along to where you want it. Left click again, sorry, right click again. I'm getting confused here. And then paste that keyframe. Go back one keyframe, right click, left click, copy keyframe and again right click paste keyframe actually you don't even have to left click it you just keep right clicking it sometimes i confuse myself all right that should do it and let's apply that and you can see the effect immediately there we go there you go a little bit off but it doesn't matter it's also, uh, no, actually it actually wasn't too bad. Yeah, a little bit off. Okay, but you, you, know, you get the general idea, and as you saw in the preview, it was uh, done a lot better than this. But again, this is a tutorial to teach you how to do that little cool effect. And you can probably add a couple of filters to it, go into the filters. You might shatter the S. Who knows? That's what you could do as well. Anyway, uh, you have a play with that. That's what it's all about. You can have a lot of fun with this. Now, stick around. I've got a few weeks holidays and my wife's at work, so I've got plenty of free time. And I promise you, I'm going to show you a lot more that you could do using Boris Graffiti 6.1. And as always, thanks for joining.